And we're rolling. <laughs> this. <laughs> so, what am I doing? I hit record thanks to the Potato Jet 24 minute challenge and we're rolling. I can already tell this is gonna be super awkward in case you haven't noticed already. So we'll see what happens. We'll let the camera roll for 24 minutes and I don't know, we'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, actually it's right about lunchtime, so I am going to track myself down peanut butter sandwich and come into the pantry like so I'm hoping we have some bread and it looks like we do there we go nothing beats a peanut butter sandwich when you are in a pinch so, it's funny because like I thought I was going to say all this cool stuff to like open up the video, you know, like act like I was like, you know, like YouTube's log, you know, like it's, it's uh, 1207 Elk Grove, California, coronavirus continued spread and mission today is complete the 24 minute potato jet challenge, you know, I was going to try to do something cool like that. I'm trying to remember to look at the lens, but, you know, can't go back and edit that. You know, you already saw my awkwardness once I hit the record button. So, next things. Paper plates. I am a big believer in paper plates, you know. Hopefully that won't offend anybody. Who would, who would have thought that that just the very act of you I'd be thinking like oh man like hopefully hopefully nobody's gonna like rag on me for using paper plates but hey when you have to do dishes you know it's uh I prefer the paper plates you know you just use them and just toss them when you're done Whoop. there we go Trying not to, trying not to destroy my flip screen on my camera. So I guess for the moment, oh, don't forget the little butter knife. Whoosh, just like that, just like that. So right now, I guess this is a cooking show. We have the oral wheat, <laughs> not. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> I guess you're supposed to say that. Not sponsored by Oro Wheat. Country buttermilk bread. Uh, established 1932. Mm. Company was established 1932. Not this particular loaf of bread because there is absolutely no mold growing on this. And like a good husband, I will put the bread clip back on the bread, you know. I won't do the old like, you know, spin and tuck tuck it under, you know, like I'll actually I'll actually put the bread clip back on. And today to uh we're going to fuel the fun with some skippy. This is this is hilarious. Like I never thought I would be um doing a little 24 minute challenge like this or anything crazy like this. Um, yeah, so who knows? Potato Jet may never see this, but you will. You will see it. And hopefully you've stuck around this long to watch me spread the peanut butter. My, <laughs> it reminds me of a little song when I was growing up. Maybe you know it too, so you can sing along. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. First you take the peanuts and you smush them, you smush them. 
I, I forgot the rest of the song. At some point, you spread it. You spread it. Not the not the coronavirus. You don't you don't spread that. I'm talking spread peanut butter on your bread. Okay. And with that, I think I I think I made Gordon Ramsay proud with that one. Uh, yeah, that that concludes our cooking show. Now it is time to consume the peanut butter sandwich. All right, don't what you guys tell on me, but I just placed the butter knife in the sink with peanut butter still on it. Don't worry, I will, after this 24 minutes of footage, I will clean that knife off. I will not leave that for my wife. <laughs> Yeah, so I know I've mentioned my wife a couple times already. She is super awesome, super amazing, and uh, she works really hard. Like, I'm a, I'm a spoiled husband, for sure, for sure. And since I've got the camera going, I've got a little, little daylight. And since I don't have a Gorilla Pot or anything crazy like that, to get the proper angle, I'm going to use this roll of paper towels. What's left of it, anyways. And, oh my gosh. I, <laughs> that was a pure accident. I think I've watched so much of Potato Jet, Peter McKinnon, Matty Hapoya, Chris Howe, uh, Jesse Driftwood, I've started watching them. I find myself like starting to uh, like talk, talk like them and throw some of those phrases in. I, I think the way Peter ends his uh, videos with and, and, I, it's, it's kind of embarrassing. I don't know if it's, if I should be embarrassed, but it's crazy. I, I find myself, uh, uh, saying and like that a lot more and it's like completely not intentional. So now I'm being absolutely rude and talking with my mouth full, but hopefully you guys are cool with that. I had to uh, improvise really quick since I'm using my paper towels to prop up my camera. Improvise with a uh, leftover Valentine's Day napkin. I gotta look presentable on camera, right? But um, yeah, don't know where I was at with that one. I think I was just uh, catching myself with the way I was saying and. So, the uh, 24 minute challenge. I can't imagine doing this for like 24 hours like like uh, Potato Jet pulled off. It's uh, that was pretty epic. I'm eight minutes in and I'm just like, what am I doing, you know? <laughs> I'm cracking up because that will be awesome. Continue to hang around for the full 24 minutes. Because that means you got to set through some guy eating a peanut butter sandwich on YouTube. That's don't worry. That's not a that's not a waste of time whatsoever. I mean, like, what else would you could you be doing right now? Like working, cleaning the house, doing chores. No, no. If you don't want to do that, who wants to do that? I don't. I would rather set and eat peanut butter sandwiches and talk to the camera all day. That's my personal preference. Um, so, funny story about peanut butter sandwiches. I have like literally like grown up on these things. Like my mom uh, all through grade school would pack me a peanut butter sandwich every day for lunch. Like you're talking from like 
kindergarten through my senior year of high school, like through college. And what's funny is like after I graduated and started working in my career, um, I still packed a peanut butter sandwich um, for myself every day for lunch. And then, and then after I uh, was married, I, I requested my wife, uh, it's funny, right? As newlyweds, she tried to, um, you know, cook me little dinners and like send me with like really like homemade little lunches. And I just told her one day, I was like, cause she was putting so much effort into it. And I just told her, I was like, hey, it's totally cool. You can just totally pack me a peanut butter sandwich and I'll be good to go. And it's like for, for years, even um, probably eight solid years in that retail career, peanut butter sandwich every day. Very, very few exceptions. And here I am yet again, peanut butter sando all day long. It's like, it does the job, right? And uh, yeah, so here we are. Peanut butter sandwich and a wonderful day. It is actually beautiful outside today. Weather's amazing. 64 degrees, it's incredible. I originally grew up in the panhandle of Texas but once I was married, my wife and I moved out to California. And I tell you, I absolutely love the weather in this state. It is ridiculous. Like, like it's like sometimes like in the, during the winter months, it's like I forget that it's winter. And it's like, I can't tell you the last time I've like been in the snow or I've seen the snow. And it's like, honestly, I don't miss it. And it's like, and it's like, and I say that cautiously, know it like, right? Like having watched all these like Canadian YouTubers and stuff, and it's like, yeah, playing in the snow is super fun. But uh, man, it's like, after being out of it for so long, it's just like, ah, oh, I just can't bring myself to go back to the cold. So, What's crazy is I'm really excited that I'm doing this 24 minute challenge. I'm looking, I'm looking at it now and I'm about 13 minutes in and I'm like, Ooh, I better jabber on some more. I better keep rambling. Um, Oh, don't choke on the sandwich. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited that, uh, that, uh, potato jet that Gene put this out, this challenge because, um, um, right, it's just kind of the spark that I needed to, um, you know, just, just get going. I, I did start this channel, uh, I think it was like late last year, you know, I was gonna, uh, I actually was doing some Lego videos, but COPPA dropped the bomb on, like, any kid-related content and just, like, it was a. Uh, it was really sad to see like a lot of um, a lot of creators watch their ch channels just go down the toilet like overnight when that dropped. Uh, uh, because there's a there's a lot of good ones, a lot of great Lego creators um, and channels. Uh, Jane Bricks is one in particular. Super cool guy. Super cool channel. I loved watching it. My kids loved watching it. And uh, the COPPA thing hit and it's just like, just tanked the dude. Um, so, and you know, I guess, I guess I was fortunate that the COPPA thing hit sooner than later. Um, but I had this period of several months of like, um, just not making anything, you know, just kind of just bump, just probably like most of you, you just don't know what to make. You don't know what to create. It's like you kick around all these ideas and you're just like, eh, should I do this? I don't know. Maybe. Well, I'll think about it. Well, let me jot it down. Well, you know, and then you'll get like, like three ideas for some videos and you're like, ah, 
I got nothing. But, so that's why I'm super thankful for this uh, 24 minute challenge. Uh, because sometimes you just, you just need to hit the record button and see what happens. You know, here I am with a peanut butter sandwich talking to a lens. And uh, it's great. I'm really hoping that my microphone is on right at this point because we're at 15 minutes. Wow, we're, we're moving right along. And so it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, like I said, thankful for it. And, it's, and hopefully this will be a, a kickstart, kickstart like a kickstart the channel uh, to be able to upload on a regular basis. I have started, uh, I have kicked up a little, a little Instagram and, uh, and uh, again, this channel. And so uh, my Instagram self plug, I guess you can do that in these little, little videos. It's the Stephen Bennett. That's T H E Stephen with a V double the N split the E's add two T's Bennett. <laughs> oh. But eh. it's been kind of interesting. So hopefully this is kind of encouraging to you, you guys out there. So I'm 16, almost 17 minutes into the video. And I'm already starting to feel a little more comfortable talking to the camera. And um, so just extra evidence for you that sometimes I can't just hit the record button. Um, so um, another thing that I've been uh, been checking out lately is like just some of the Jesse Driftwood videos and uh, they've actually been really cool. And um, part of his story is that he he fo he was he started focusing on Instagram stories. I don't know how long ago this was. I did not look at the timestamps on these videos that I've been watching. Um, but he just took his everyday life and just made videos with it, made Instagram stories with it, and just kind of like challenged himself and forced himself to create. And uh, it's really cool stuff, you know? Uh, a lot of his in-camera transitions are sweet. Um, but uh, yeah, he's been really inspiring to me these last couple days. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think, I think he's worth, uh, his, his uh, content's worth checking out. Uh, because it, it's funny that, as he mentioned, you know, where he's like, he kind of uh, put out, you know, the stereotype. I'm not not jumping in out of helicopters. I'm not riding helicopters, going to exotic locations, you know, like hanging off the face of a mountain, you know, to get that epic shot. It's just, you know, it's like, hey, I've got my nine to five. You know, well, I don't know what his job is, but me, speaking to me personally, I've got my nine to five. Uh, not much happens in between those eight hours, you know. I wake up, have my cup of coffee, a uh, cup of yogurt, peanut butter sandwich, and then like it's a quick dinner. And it's uh, you know, and then uh, my wife and I, we we have two kids, and uh, they they keep us super busy. And uh, like I said, like it's you can't really go live the live the life or you know create the epic like whoa i'm in bali this week and then i'm off shooting off to dubai which that is so cool um that's so neat that those individuals get to go do that uh, you know but it's like you still have to be content learn to be content with your own life not that doesn't mean you don't challenge yourself to to strive for better things or greater things or have goals but um you know you do have to make sure you have a certain level of contentment with your with your own personal life and uh, make make the best of like the cards you currently have and you know continue to work for whatever goals you you're aspiring to and uh, again I know I've said it like multiple times during this video uh, but I'm really thankful for the this 24 minute challenge um, because I was just grabbing lunch and I was like you know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna commit I'm gonna be a youtuber so here we are. Here we are. Video number one. 
after the uh, the uh, COPPA debacle and uh, we're just gonna keep trudging, trudging along and uh, hopefully make some delicious content that's exciting, revolutionary and I'm gonna have to make the mundane exciting, thrilling, epic. What? Oh man, that didn't, that, that little voice didn't quite come out right. It almost sounded kind of like, whoa, whoa, what's it, what's it going, what's it, send this guy to an exorcist. What is happening? And, let's see. We are at 20 minutes, 53 seconds, 54, 55. <laughs> So if you've stuck with the video this long, you're, you are an amazing person. Super, super amazing individual. And I appreciate it. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to hang out with me, listen to me jabber, listen to me reflect, and and watch me eat peanut butter sandwiches. Um, yeah, yeah. Good times, good times. I feel the need right now to just create a little pause of awkward silence of kind of like, like, hey, hey uh, Jim, how are you doing today? Good. Nice. Anything else you plan on doing? Nope. <laughs> yeah, so looking at the timer winding down, I'm like, hmm. What can I say next? Uh just just uh just just rambling. I know. I know what we can do. I know what we can do. Hold up, this was a little bit premeditated. I gotta quit looking at the, the flip screen and look in the lens. You guys are inside the little lens. What? Hello. All right, I've got somebody that I would like you all to meet. I think, I think uh, some of you may be familiar with him, others may not, but that's just part of it. Let's go, let's go, let's go uh, meet someone. I have to admit, this was like a, a little bit premeditated, uh, but we will see how this goes. Oh, flip out screen jammed. That's all right, that's all right. Oh, gotta turn on. Gotta, I guess, gotta get, get my vlog angles correct, you know, like none of this, like, blah, look at this, look at the chins. So, so the gentleman I wanted you guys to meet is none other than the Quaker Oats guy. Hey, what's up, yo? Oh yeah, Quaker Oats. We're gonna make your morning bright and delicious. Oh yeah. Did you know my oatmeal can help lower your cholesterol? Oh yeah, cardiovascular health. Mm, so fine, so fine. And with that, we're a little over 24 minutes. Thanks for sticking around and all that. And you guys are the best. Talk to you later.